Matt Sully here doing yet another VR. Um, this VR is for 907 Piper. Um, I believe 907 Piper is in Hawaii, so we should all be a little jealous. Um, it's a kid running by on their scooter. Maybe I'll leave that in. Maybe not. Anyway. I believe he's in Hawaii, so we should all be a little bit jealous, I guess, um, of his location. Um, he might disagree with that. I always find that the people that are from nice places don't necessarily appreciate them as much as the people that visit them. Um, hence, I'm in Austin. People come here from all over the world. Uh, and they do things that I never do, even though I live here. Um, anyway. So he has, he's celebrating his 100 uh, gall, 100 subscriber gall, and he's given away a couple of things, some tobacco, some, uh, uh, a, couple of a couple of other things. Um, but what I really like about his is, and I actually participated in his live chat when he went uh, and did kind of a preview of what he was gonna give away, is he is giving away a knife, and I don't know the exact name of the knife, you'll have to check out his video, um, I'll put it in the link. Um, I'll put it in the link. I'll put the link down in the crankcase here. Um, but uh, his granddad makes these knives, or used to make these knives, and I don't know if his granddad is still making this one, or if it's one like his granddad made, um, but it looks to be pretty cool. It's unique. Um, it reminds me, I think it's an Eskimo kind of style mic, or knife, and it's got a little... Uh, little plate with it and uh it's it's almost a, a half circle um it'd be great for cutting plug it'd be great for uh just using around the house so um but what i liked about it is is that it's got sentimental value to him and uh, even though it's you know a freshly made pipe it's got that connection to his past and i appreciate when folks think that long and hard about what they're going to give away um, to the YTPC. It shows their appreciation, I think, in a, in a unique way. Um, what he's asked us to do is to um, tell him what the 10 items we would take. Scenario, we're on a deserted island um, or in wilderness somewhere. It doesn't have to be an island, but wilderness. And we've got 30 days to survive. And he'd ask us to list the 10 items that we would take with us for that survival trip. And I have a list here, so I'm going to get down to it so I can see it real well. So the first thing I would take is a tarp, just because I think you can do a lot with a tarp, shelter, um, you can refine water, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with, with a tarp. Um, I would take paracord. Um, again, you, if you're going to make shelters, you can use it for tie rope, you can use it for a whole bunch of different things. Um, you can use it to make traps, there's a, a whole number of uses for, for paracord. I would take a knife. Um, I don't have the knife with me that I would take, but I've got a couple of knives that uh, would be great survival knives. Um, one, I thought I had it here, but I don't. At least I don't see it. No, nope. I took it. I took it inside. So. Um, um, one's an actual old school survival knife. It's got a compass in the end. It's got uh, some some stuff on the inside, matches, things like that that you know you can use when you get in a pinch. I would take a fishing rod. Um, here comes that scooter again. I would take a fishing rod. I would take because um, you, know, you gotta have the ability to catch uh, catch something. Um, but he also said that you don't have to take a firearm because you know in his scenario we're gonna be 100% safety guaranteed. I, however, would take a firearm, if we can take one, um, because uh, I don't always like fish. I mean, I'd like to eat fish, but I also wouldn't mind, you know, eating rabbit, eating, right? So I'd take probably a rifle of some sort, probably a 22, just because the ammo would be really easy to carry, um, and you could still shoot, you know, small game with, with, a, uh, with a 22. I'd also take beef jerky. Now you'd say, well, if you're gonna shoot all these animals and all that, why would you take beef jerky? Well, for the first couple of days, I don't wanna to have to worry about food while I'm setting up camp and getting things ready, finding firewood, getting fire started, setting up your shelter, etc. right? The number one thing that you need to do is set up shelter. The number two thing you need to do is get water. And the number three thing is you need to get food. 
At least that's what I've seen on all these nature shows. So, um, I would take beef jerky for the first couple of days. Great source of uh, protein, give you enough energy to kind of keep going through the first couple of days, should you not be able to actually hunt and or fish. And I would take a water purification straw, and you've probably seen these. They sell them in like the little pumps, they sell them in straws. Um, and then I would also take a water jug, right? So that takes me, that way obviously I can store water and don't have to constantly be on the lookout. Um, that takes me to number eight. Number nine would be a fire starter kit. My dad, who lives in Kansas, who uh, doesn't camp, doesn't do any survival stuff, but he loves making these little fire kits. And they have a little chert rock, they have a piece of uh, steel, uh, usually like a file that you can use to strike a spark and char cloth and he makes his own char cloth he puts some little altoid tins so i'd take one of those so that i could uh, start fires and make more uh, char cloth down the you know in the, in the in the future i guess then i've seen a lot of these videos and everybody wants to take a pipe with them i would just make sure that i have tobacco with me because um, I, I can make a pipe um, out in the wilderness somewhere right I'd figure out how to make a pipe. Um, but what I would really like to have is some kind of a cooking pot, right? So um, something that'll, something you could pan fry meat in, something that you could use to boil water, um, something like that. So I think I'd probably rather have that than a pipe. I could do without the pipe if I have to. Um, as long as I have my knife and I can make a pipe uh, or figure out how to make a pipe, I, I, I think I could probably survive. So. 907 Piper, 100 yard, uh, 100 yard, 100 sub gall. This one's got a lot of bloopers in it. Um, congratulations, man. I think it's uh, it's great that you uh, are presenting. I think it's great that you live in Hawaii. I'd love to come visit you and smoke a pipe with you at some point. Um, we'll see. That's uh, it's on my bucket list. I've, I've been to Hawaii once. I went to Waikiki years ago, but um, I'd like to get back there someday. So. With that, I am Roblide Soli. Keep the rubber side down.